You know how CMU and their hunts are physically in Pittsburgh? Well, we're sent back to the past and with Matthew the Mammoth and his dino friends for some puzzles. Top five puzzles I did in CMU's prehistory hunt. We need a way to strike some fire. There's Tinder around, but this one involves matchmaking logic puzzles. Some, like Puzzle 7, have the Akari and Slalom loop easily spotable. But for many, finding out which puzzles to fusion hall was incredibly challenging. Puzzle 5 definitely had a nonogram, but it took a while to find the hidden simple loop puzzle. We only got five pairs, but it was just enough to spark an answer with New Dramatic. But that Tinder making wasn't in the past. I was late, yet again, and started in the present. Now Matthew the Mammoth needs to find a way back home with not one, but two metas at a time, so big spoilers incoming! First, Matthew needs to find a way to link the light legendary lizards to the dark digital devices in Fossil Park, along with a gigantic logic puzzle! My teammate pointed out that each feeder answer can have L's and D's inserted to a phrase that actually indicates the light and dark squares. Then we need to deduce the path and fossils. Once that's done, we found that a microblogging mastodon is how Matthew the Mammoth can link up with his friends. But there's still one more connection to log at the site. By finding a common theme from past puzzles and present puzzles and taking a simple index, we found a connection from a puzzle hunter gatherer. Overall, Matthew's mastodon was a nice way to cap off the hunt, but Fossil Park edges out and made it to the top three. A major part came from our ability to overcome our initially limited supply of fears thanks to back solving and logical strategy. For example, we can work backwards by finding some clue answers and removing L's and D's or looking at the end of the path. These moments are awesome to see. But there's still two puzzles that I like over those. One of them had the high voltage. Time for another cryptic with rock music, but without the entry labels and length confirmation, finding the clues is incredibly difficult. Not to mention how some of the answers don't really fit in the grid. Still, I like some clues like leave Monopoly Square and bad grade in Alabama exam. But once we found out what to do with the answers, it was a smooth jam from here on out. These extras are ACDC songs, and we work with album numbers with the voltage formula. It was really nice finishing off this melody with my graphing and math skills to find plots and intersections for the extraction. Before my top pick, some honorable mentions. Cave paintings. I am at a loss of words with these nice blackboard drawings. Spinosaurus. The spinning mechanic was an amusing twist. Asteroid. I like how this was on a piazza. Early settlement incorporating a 58 letter long village name into a logic puzzle, and Civilization V. These mini puzzles rule. I like puzzles I can solve, in a sense. My favorite puzzle is the one that required a lot more thinking and a lot more math, the zoo. This Scandinavian zoo has eight exhibits that we have to deduce Einstein zebra style. Only, we need to calculate the number first, and that really put my math skills to the test. I have to pull out my skills and bounds and proof by contradiction, which assumes A is true and works to a contradiction to show A is false. For example, I assume there is no exhibit with 9 animals, but working with the given statements later led to a contradiction in animal count. Therefore, there must be an exhibit with 9 animals. Finishing the logic took a lot of work, but was really satisfying. However, I'm not done yet as I still have to do extraction, though my work in the fossil park later led to back solving this very puzzle. As it turns out, all these animals to index are really plushies from Ikea. So that's why the shark calls for trans rights. And that wraps up CMU's prehistory hunt. Considering how that happened a week after Brown Puzzle Hunt 2023, there were quite some parallels, like being late yet again and hunting with the same teammate. Thanks to Puzzle Hunt CMU for hosting the event, and for viewers like you, thank you!